What's up, everyone, and welcome to Dollar Workout Club, <laughs> where we like Just to kidding. have fun. We're All right, guys, we got a great uh, bicep and tricep workout today for everyone. It's going to be a great uh, quick one, but it's going to be effective, and you're going to love it, okay? So what we're going to do first is we're going to go through all the modifications of the movements we're doing in the workout. Then we're going to be doing a quick warm-up, then going straight into the workout and it's gonna be a lovely one today. So <laughs> I am going to uh, show you all the modifications. The first movement we're doing is called a hammer curl. You don't need any hammers, but <laughs> we're using soup cans today for a few of the levels. Okay, so for green level, remember our color system, green is for beginner or modified, yellow is for intermediate, red is for advanced. You pick your fitness level that you wanna do the workout at, and that's why we have the color coordination system, makes it so much easier and so anyways the green level of hammer curls looks like this she's using some soup cans so her elbows are in close to her body and all she's doing is coming up uh, with the elbows locked in place and the only thing that's moving is uh, her forearm to her wrist it's coming up she's squeezing those biceps at the top Lynn's gonna be doing the same thing but a little bit heavier weight yellow is uh, a little bit less weight okay and for green, you're gonna be, I'm using these really small, smaller soup cans, okay? Find anything around the house that has weight um, and you can do this workout, okay? You don't need a ton of equipment. The next movement we're doing is tricep kickbacks, okay? These work your triceps. So you're gonna bend over at the waist a little bit, okay? And your elbows are gonna be close into your body just like they were for hammer curls. And the only part of your body that's moving is from the elbow to the wrist and she's extending her elbows, or sorry, she's extending her wrists all the way out so that her tricep is fully flexed in this position right here. Those are called tricep kickbacks, okay? It's the same, move, it's the same movement for all levels, just different weight, okay? The next movement, it, movement sorry, is the V bicep curl. So this one, your elbows are in nice and tight to your body, but your wrists are gonna be rotated outwards, okay? So you're, in, you're kind of making a V, okay? So her elbows are in nice and tight to her body, full extension at the bottom. She's gonna come up and curl at the top, all the way down, all the way up. This works the inner part of your bicep. See right here? This is the part that is working. You can oh, see. Oh, you're trying to show off your <laughs> <hard> <laughs> I don't know, I was just trying to show you which part of the bicep. Right. Okay? We're hitting the bicep at different angles, okay? Um, and so that's what the V bicep curls are doing. Okay, red's heavier weight, yellow is less weight, green is even less weight, all right? The next movement is behind the neck tricep extension. So you bring that weight above your head, okay? Elbows in nice and tight, all right? You don't want your elbows to flare out in this movement, okay? Keep those elbows in nice and tight the whole time. And the only part of your body that's moving is from, like, once again, your elbow to your wrist. They're coming back down. You should feel a nice stretch right here in your triceps. Sorry if, sorry if that tickles. <laughs> and we're coming all the way back up. Full extension, flex those triceps at the top, okay? Hitting the triceps from a different angle here, okay? So all the way down, nice good stretch. All the way up, full extension. And those are the four movements we're doing. The next movement we're doing though, which there are some different modifications for this one is the burpee. Yes, oh, the infamous, the burpee. much hated burpee, okay? So for green, this is the type of burpee you're gonna be doing. You're gonna be finding a chair, a bench, a ledge, a table, anything that's elevated, it makes it a little bit easier. The higher up it is, the lower it is to the ground, the harder it is. And so for beginner level green, you're stepping back, stepping forward, and then doing a little calf raise at the top. Stepping back, stepping forward, raise those arms, calf raise, okay? That's the green level for burpee. For yellow level of the burpee, you're gonna be doing something elevated again, but instead of stepping back, you're jumping back jumping forward, jumping up, okay? So this one's gonna involve some jumping, which is a little bit harder than the green version, okay? And But not quite as hard as the red version, which Lynn's <laughs> gonna be showing you. You're going all the way down to the ground on this one. You're putting your hands down, you're jumping back, touching that chest to the ground, jumping back in, and then up. So hands down, jump back, all the way down, jump in, jump up, okay? That's the red level, the Woo! burpee. Those get hard really, really quick. So choose your level and follow green, yellow, red during the workout. Natalie and I are gonna go ahead and get warmed up here, so follow us for the warm-up. Lynn's gonna explain the structure of the workout before we get started, so let's go ahead and do some jog in place. All right, you guys, so let me tell you about this workout. It's gonna be killer, because we're doing two different bicep workouts, working two different parts of that bicep muscle, doing two different tricep workouts, again, working two different zones, and we're finishing each round with 60 seconds of burpees as fast as possible. You guys, that's brutal, I know, <laughs> but it's gonna be great. It's gonna get that heart rate up, which is gonna be 
great fat burning workout along with building those muscles. So it's awesome. Okay, so this is how the workout's gonna be. 12 hammer curls, 12 tricep kickbacks, 12 V bicep curls, and then 12 overhead extensions followed right in with those 60 seconds of burpees. Repeat that two times, you guys, for a total of three rounds. I know it's gonna be hard. We're gonna push through it. It's gonna be awesome. So let's finish up with this warm up, and then we're gonna go ahead Oh, and jump right into that All workout. Right. We're gonna do some dips, okay? Follow me if you're green. We're gonna be doing dips um, on the ground, actually. And just just about, you know, five of them. You're gonna be sitting on the ground like this, bend those elbows slightly, come up. And we're just warming just up Just to loosen up those triceps, yep. Yeah, you don't have to go all the way down. It's just a nice yeah. movement to get warm up. All right, now we're gonna give ourselves some love here and do some self hugs, you know? Loosen up that chest, loosen up those shoulders. Give yourself some love, you deserve it. You're awesome, <laughs> okay? You know, have a nice, fun, quick workout. Do some curls for the girls. <laughs> and what do you like to say for the tries? Tries for the guys. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. All okay, right, totally and kidding. some burpees for <laughs> nobody. No one likes burpees, <laughs> okay? <laughs> all right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the workout. All and right. we're all gonna stay on pace, so follow us. And so grab your cans of soup or whatever, your dumbbells, right. your water jugs, and let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Hammer curl, one, two, squeeze at the top, three. Make sure your palms are facing four, each other when you do this and not five, facing the ceiling. Six, seven, this is what it should look like from the side, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, 12, Ooh. straight into those tricep kickbacks, okay? Bend over at the waist a little bit, keep that back straight, and elbows in and kick back. One, two, Really three, focus on keeping your elbows four. stationary. You don't want yep. your elbows flying all over the place. You want to keep them in one spot the whole Seven. time. Come to a full extension on each rep. That's 10, 11, and 12. V bicep curls now. Elbows Ooh. in nice and tight. Rotate those wrists out, ready, and one. Two. Make sure to keep your back nice and straight here. Yep. Four. Woo. Five. Slow down six, your pace. Feet should be about shoulder seven, width apart here. Not any eight, wider, not any narrower. Nine. Ten. Woo. Eleven. Through it. And twelve. Woo, All I right. feel a burn right. in my arm. Right. I'm Press burning. Stations. Ready and go. One. Two. Three. I try to keep my elbows as close to my face as possible. So from the front, this is what it would look yep. like. Notice how my elbows are really not moving very much at all, with the exception of when I'm fully extended. 11, yep, okay, flex those triceps at the top. All right, oh, 60 seconds all right, of burpees. Seconds. Ready, and go. Pace yourself here, but still push yourself, right? Like Lynn said earlier, this is really where we're gonna start burning a lot of fat. The reason that in a, most of our workouts here at Dollar Workout Club, that we incorporate cardio and weight is because the cardio will get your heart rate elevated, which will help burn more fat and burn more calories. Yep. But also you're getting the benefits of resistance training, which the more muscle you have, the more fat you burn. So you're getting the benefits of both cardio and resistance training in one workout that's only 10 to 15 minutes long instead of two, three hours at the gym. All right, we have about 15 seconds left, guys. Awesome. Try and pick up your pace a little bit if you can. Go a little bit faster. See how many burpees you can get in in those last 15 seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Woo! Good job. And, all right, guys, right into set number two. Go ahead and grab that weight. Hammer curls. Ready? And go, 12, one, two, three, four, good job. Really focus Five, on keeping your back straight six, and your core engaged during yep. this whole movement. Eight, nine, you wanna make sure your feet are shoulder width apart, that they're not like this, 11, and that they're not like this. 12, straight into kickbacks, you guys. 12 of these, ready? And go, one, two. Make sure and fully flex those triceps after each rep. Five. Six and pause for a second. Seven, eight, Ooh, burn. nine, yep. ten, eleven, and 
well. Oh, All right. Push through the pain, curls. you guys. Elbows are nice and tight. Ready and squeeze. Again, you want your feet to be about shoulder width apart here. Four. Five. Good job. Six. Six more. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Two more. Eleven and 12 straight into those tricep extensions. Ooh. Ready and all the way down and up. One. Amazing how much Two. these soup cans really can burn. <laughs> and it's okay if you're going a little bit slower. I know Six, that I'm about a rep behind. Seven, Just keep count of your reps. Eight, nine, 10, about to do some burpees. 11 and Ooh. 12, drop that weight. Oh. Get in burpee position. Ready and go. Remember if you're red to really pace yourself for this minute, but keep continual movement, continual motion. Remember if you're doing green or yellow, the further you step your feet back like this, the harder it is. Yeah. But the closer you jump your feet back like this, the easier it is. So if you want to stay at your current color level, but you want to make it a little bit harder or easier, just adjust the distance you're jumping backwards. After this, we're only going to have one more set, you guys. Only one more set after this. We're almost there. About a little over 20 seconds. Make sure and breathe. Try and control your breathing. All right. Ready in three, two, one. And all right, Ooh, last yeah, guys, set right here. Go right here. into the next set, no rest. Hammer curls, ready? And squeeze, squeeze. Remember, you want your palms to face each other and not face the ceiling like four, a normal bicep curl. You want your palms five, to face each other. Six, seven, eight, nine, almost there. 10, two more, 11, Ooh. and tricep kickbacks. Let's go. Flex those triceps, full extension, one. If you have kids, picking Two. up your kids later today might be kind of Three. challenging <laughs> for you. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, Two more. guys. Eleven, twelve. Woo. All right, V Great. bicep curls, elbows in nice and tight. This is our last set, you guys. Push yourself. One. Two. It should be burning. It burns. Three. It does burn. Push through the pain, you guys. I know if you're he using heavy dumbbells, this hurts. Oh, last reps. Just remember that, last reps. Nine, 10, two more. 11 Ooh. and 12. Ooh. All right, tricep extensions. Ready and go. And you guys, we use soup cans in all these exercises. We don't have to use soup cans. You can use free weights if you have them. We just want to show you guys that you don't need a lot of fancy equipment to get in a good workout. You literally can use anything in your house that has weight. You can use a cantaloupe. You can use anything. Anything that weighs a couple pounds. That's yep. one. You can use oh. your kid. All right. Okay, you guys, you got this. 60 seconds of burpees. 60 All you got. Seconds. Ready? All right. And, and go. go. Let's go as fast as you can, okay? There's our Come last on, one yellow. right here. We got We're this. We're done after this. Do quick jumps fast. Let's go, Red. Push yourself, Team Green. Come on, guys. I'm proud of you. We're almost done here. After yeah. this, you're done with your workout for the day. That's true. Ooh, it's burning. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Good job, okay. guys. We're halfway there. 30 more seconds. You can do it. Good job. Push through the burn. I know it burns right now. Know that it feels really hard in your shoulders, in your abs. Just keep pushing. You're almost there. 15 seconds. Almost job, there. Guys. Finish strong. Finish faster than you started. See how many burpees you can do in the next five seconds. Let's go. Go. Two, one, done. Uh, Woo! Pat yourself on the back. Good, good job. job team good green. job, Green. Team yellow, team red. How are you doing? Oh. oh. And she's on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> you might My not team. see her in tomorrow's workout. Yay, <laughs> team red. <laughs> Yay. Good job, everyone. Great job. We're going to do a cool down. This is the best part of the video, right? <laughs> the it stretching. is for me. Okay, we're going to do Ooh. some bicep and tricep stretches because that's what we just worked out. 
So what we're gonna do for our bicep stretch is we're gonna bring our elbow in nice and close to our body like this. You're gonna grab your hand, bend that wrist back, and push this elbow this way until you feel a nice, good stretch in your bicep and hold it. It should be nice and tight. We're gonna hold it for about 30 seconds Anyone on else's side. arms like noodles right now? Yeah, <laughs> my shoulders. Yeah, I got, can, I got a can of noodles right here. Drew. <laughs> 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 What? There's another Druism. Druism. <laughs> All right. Switch sides. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Good awesome. job, everyone. Woo. You got to love these quick, fast, efficient workouts, right? Oh, oh. man. <sighs> so the key in here is now that you've got your workout done for the day, you don't want to go and eat a whole bunch of garbage, right? You want to make sure that you're eating whole, nutritious foods. So that's why we put in the recipe section on the, on the website. So go yep. to the recipe section. Plan out your day. Okay, hey, this looks really good for lunch. This looks really good for dinner. Hey, that protein shake looks awesome for post-workout. Okay, we're going to do a tricep stretch. So bring that arm behind that head as far as possible and see how Lynn's hand is in the middle of her back. You want to walk that hand down as far as you can go. The farther down you go, the more of a stretch you'll feel in your tricep here. So pull on the elbow. <sighs> nice and tight. Should be a little bit uncomfortable. But that's a sign of a good stretch. It's if it's a little bit uncomfortable, that's for sure. Okay, switch sides, shake it out. Other side, grab and pull and hold. Hold it there. Definitely make sure and stretch throughout the day. You can do these stretches, you know, especially if your biceps and triceps are pretty sore after this workout. You can do them, you know, two to three times a day. You can do them tomorrow. Um, you know, anytime you're, you're sore, feel free to, to stretch, you know, more than just once per day. Ready and relax. Okay. Good job, everyone. Thank you guys so Great much job. for being a part of Dollar Workout Club. We appreciate you. We love you. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. It's me, Drew, and I want to talk to you guys today a little bit about publicly declaring your goals. And what I mean by that is telling close friends and family about what your intentions are with living a new healthy lifestyle. The reason this is important is because it keeps you accountable, which is scary, but also very powerful when it comes to staying accountable to your close friends and family. So what I recommend people doing is, uh, first of all, telling their friends and family that they're trying to live a new healthy lifestyle. And what this does is, say for example, you go to a, a family party, and if your family knows that you're trying to eat healthy, hopefully there's people there that will support you and say, hey, you know, I know so-and-so is trying to eat healthy, let's make some healthy food for them. But if they don't know, and you don't tell anybody, then they're probably gonna make the same, you know, delicious but unhealthy food at this family get together because they don't know you're trying to be healthy and then you're just gonna be tempted and there's not gonna be anything for you to eat there that's you know healthy that you're trying that's on track with this new lifestyle. So that's why it's so important to tell people. I also recommend people going to social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and posting about their goals um, so that their friends and other followers online know that they're trying to live healthy so that they can keep you accountable as well. And so that's very powerful too. And it creates this, this fear, but that fear is very motivating and very powerful. And so that's why it's so important to publicly declare your goals because if you try and do this alone by yourself without anybody knowing, 
it's really difficult because there's no one to stay accountable to when you're by yourself um, and you want to give in to those temptations. So just remember to get out there and, and overcome that fear, but also let that fear motivate you to live this new healthy lifestyle. Hey guys, we just want to take a second to let you know how much we appreciate you. Dollar Workout Club wouldn't be a club without each of you guys, and you mean so much to us. Yeah, and we want you guys to leave your comments. There's a section below where you can talk about if you've tried the recipe, or how you thought of the workout, or how you did in the workout, or questions about the motivational tips. If you have comments or questions, please leave them below. Yeah, and don't forget to invite your friends, you guys, to join us here at Dollar Workout Club, and don't forget to follow us on social media using these handles below. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.